though we have been given a four-year mandate, I tell you, this government is rightly on course one year down. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. I, 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 I am amazed. You see, I keep on saying that we are intellectuals. Let us run away from the propaganda. It's, it's not, it's not a, a political season. It's not an election time. Let us go or let's, let's, let's be re realistic. You see, he, he, he made mention of propaganda by Stephen Amwa. Of course, he's, he's a politician and sticking to be elected, so definitely he'll, he'll get there. But the point, he, he, he went into interest rates in 2008. He asked himself in 2000, what's MPP inherited? You see, those are the things I want us to avoid for now. Let us be real. Inflation is coming down. As a Muslim, I'll thank my, 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 my creator. It's good. But what I'm, saying that, what I'm saying here is that inflation is coming down. It's good. In 2000, MP was saying the same thing. And NEC kept on saying, is it reflecting... Is it reflecting in our pockets? John Mahama. You see, and now the MPP is saying that where is the money? The point is that let us be real and educate ourselves. Let's run away from the propaganda. My brother here is just, he's just he's talking like Stephen Amo as a politician. Please, um, Master Audu, let's run away from the propaganda. The eh? <laughs> 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 Yeah, at a, well, let me, let me, let me. Well, I don't belong to Test Chat. I'm not an incrumanist, neither am I. Well, I'm speaking from an independent perspective. Neither are you hot. Neither are you hot. <laughs> Let us know. I know you're not part I'm of speaking, Chester. I'm speaking from an independent perspective, oh, actually. I, 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 I beg to differ. Yes, I'm, I'm being very, very objective in you this matter. Yeah. You bear with me that every minister of state or any government official that assumes power or assumes an office of responsibility swears an oath of secrecy. I think you would all bear with me. My, my colleague panelist here would bear with me that any minister or any public official swears an, uh, an oath of secrecy. Now, you bear with me that not every essential information about government is released to the opposition. When the MPP were, was in power, it was so obvious that not everything about government, not every new thing that was happening in the country was released. That's why I'm particularly imp uh, happy that uh, the right information bill is about to be passed by our parliament. I think they debated on it not too long when they resumed from their recess. So I'm particularly happy that this, this right information bill has... Now, my point is this. It's true that the NDC may have gone wrong by stating their manifesto that uh, blah, 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 what Rashid was saying. But then, how can you blame the NDC if they were not privy to information? So essentially, my point is that since, that, since the right to information bill has not been passed, every person can get, the, uh, can get access to information wherever he wants. So I think the NDC's action is justifiable. The NDC's actions is justified by stating their manifesto that they are not going to introduce any direct form of taxation. It's going to be indirect. So if they are doing it now, it's because of the poor state of our economy. I think I was particularly touched by what uh, the Vice President said at the Congress in Tamale. He said that just before the, the transition, before the election 2008, uh, National Security had stated that uh, the state of the Ghanaian economy was bad and that whoever it was, whether the NDC, PNC, CPP or whichever party that has, had assumed the realms of power would have faced the same challenges the NDC is facing yes. now. Um, so this is my point. So it's quite understandable that the NDC may be taxing now, even though they're sitting there and facing. So let me let me so help, let me help I, you I, out I'm here. Saying, okay, you go on. Yeah, to put the record on on on, on right on the head, the World Bank, on the stroke of handing over power from the NPP to the NDC in 2008 said that the state of the Ghanaian economy was extremely worrisome. Those were the very words of the country director of the World Bank. Extremely worrisome. So it sometimes gets Go back to gets, 2000. It sometimes Go back to 2000. It, it, it gets very worrying when no, it gets very worrying. It gets very worrying when so people when people and especially government is trying to justify the measures that are being taken coming up against the background of the world and global crisis that we inherited in this country and people get out there and begin to to, to sing songs of about propaganda and all that kind of thing it, it gets really worrying okay let's throw wrap up yeah so me my point is that it's true the ndc may have promised that they are not going to do this but since it has happened let us understand the position in which they are in and i'm particularly happy about the right information bill that has been passed so now that something of this sort is there anybody can go to access information from any government department so Let's just understand the NDC and give them the benefit of the doubt. It's because every government in power does not easily release information. Every right now that the bill is, is in Parliament, it's not been passed yet. Um, I think what stage is it in, uh, Rashid? It's not been passed yet. So it's difficult accessing information. So the MPP is acting now because they, were they weren't privy to certain informations when they were in oppo uh, opposition. And that's why they are acting like that today. So let's just understand them and give them the benefit of the doubt. Rashid. Oh, we, Rashid. We, 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 I, 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 I'm grateful that... 
my my learned colleague uh, La Philemon is, is talking from the independent view. But the point is that you see, as I said, taxation is really good. It's really really good. But all I keep on saying is that let us run away from politics as students for now. Let us look at the impact and the importance of what what our politicians say and what we seek to achieve. Then we we are said because I'm I'm, I'm CPP. All that NEC does is bad. Because I'm MPP. What I'm saying here is that my, my people, if if you don't know A, you don't go and say D. NEC didn't know B, and they went to say Z. They didn't know that. No, that's what Philemon is saying. That because the rights to information, blah blah blah, was not there. MB, NDC didn't know the real state of economy, so they had to say that they will not be on taxes, blah blah blah. All I'm saying that is that if you don't know it, don't go into propaganda. Don't go and score cheap political points with it. So we should go. We should get to the grounds and educate our 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 our, our illiterate parents, our brothers who are not privy to, to to some of these things. Now to the issue of to the issue of um, what my Masaudu was saying, what the country director for World Bank blah blah said. You see, this this fight. You see, that's why I believe in Kwanuma so much. This fights are, are greedy. Uh, I don't want to use the word. You see, they, they don't respect us. But the point is that we keep on listening to them. In 2000, what didn't they say? 2004, what didn't, what didn't they talk before? The same people. I, I'm, 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 I can bet my head on that in 2012 or in 2016 when we change government, inshallah when my party is in power, I, I bet you that you, 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 you see what they will say. Not 2012. Uh, I'm not coming in 2012. Um, <laughs> uh, Mr. 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 Atta, I think I'm, 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 I'm on floor. You see, what I'm saying is that Please, my people, as students, let us run away from the politics and the propaganda th stuff that our, our, our politicians our politicians go through. All I'm saying is that taxation is good, but the way in which you are handling it would always bring us down. It would always bring us down. So, Master Audrey La Philemon, whatever you think, it's really good. But please, 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 our politicians are not helping us. And we shouldn't support them. We should rather tell them that my people, when we are coming to power, we should educate our people that fine when we come, we will tax you. So if you think, vote for me. What did Obama say? He said it or and he gave him the nod. When I come, I, I won't go and fight Iraq as someone did. He was real. I'll release some prisoners and he's doing it. So don't come and tell us that I'll go and fight Iraq when you come, you know, go and fight Iraq. I'm giving instances that that doesn't say that Obama has. But what I'm saying is that let us be real. Let us be real. Giving your information we judge you need and also a space for public discussion. Community Watch, only on Focus FM. Okay, three minutes after nine, this is still Community Watch. I'm Phil. Yeah, I think Rashid is, is still having the problems of imperial. You know, Nkrumah was always talking about imperialism, anything about the white man. He just did not support it. Of course, I agree, I agree with Rashid that sometimes the, the whites mislead us. But we are talking about the World Bank. The World Bank that has economists that uh, they don't just predict things, they predict based on circumstances. And it's so obvious how harsh the economy was on Ghanaians in 2008. So if the World Bank uh, director comes out to say that the shape of the Ghanaian economy is extremely bad, what's the uh, imperialism about it? I think Rashid still has Nkrumah's, some of those archaic Nkrumah ideas in his head. Mr. Sata, I am grateful. But this, 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 my name was mentioned, so I think I have to react. What I'm saying is that I'm not saying the whites are totally bad. At least I've, 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 I've worked with some of Rashid, them. Rashid, you wanted to use certain words and said uh, you're not going to use them. Uh, uh, let, let me come in here. Let me come in, Mr. Atta. What I'm saying is that, you see, in 2000, in 2000, they came insulting um, former president, Jerry John Rollins. In 2006, they kept on praising, uh, 2004, they kept on praising um, uh, President Kufour. 2006, even 2007, Beginning of 2008, they were full of praises. MCA, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Kufu has a good policy, APRM, GPRS. What I'm saying is that these people keep on throwing that into our eyes. I, I tell you that if if, if really would like to look at this thing, let's wait till 20, I wish 2012, I'll meet Masaudu and laugh. 